was a very uh, busy weekend. I think uh, we ended up doing uh, 10 jobs all in all for that weekend. Um, uh, quite strong uh, from memory, uh, north northeasterly winds with um, quite a big swell running. We got a call late in the afternoon. It was for a um, rock fisherman off the rocks at Gary. We um, you know, arrived on scene where we saw a large group of uh, people you know, gathered around. The surf was quite heavy. John and I had a quick talk before putting him in the water and he was happy to go down and, and, and you know, basically attempt the rescue. You know, I went down to the rocks, spoke to a few people there, they were in a very panicked state. At that very point in time too, um, you know, I actually saw a body get washed in and smashed into those rocks and get sucked out immediately again. Uh, the victim at this point in time was actually popping up on the surface periodically and also going underwater. But just the pure power of the waves, you know, smashing on me, so I sort of got smashed onto the rocks from the very outset. So it took quite a few attempts before I could actually get to him. Um, when the victim did finally surface, I to um, work very hard to to uh, get the harness around him whilst you know I had several waves breaking on top of me. We got the patient um, into the aircraft you know and I went straight into CPR. Um, after landing ambulance officers came into the aircraft and from there um, they went into his care. Once handover occurred we did manage to get you know an output back on that particular person which was great to hear. Unfortunately over time he just wasn't able to recover from his um, injuries. John Molner's uh, sheer determination, strength uh, and his courage. Um, he's an outstanding uh, rescue crew officer. He's shown by his um, you know, outstanding act of bravery that uh, what we're prepared to do to uh, try and rescue somebody.